Okay, Nana, welcome back to video number 4. Let's continue with video, this video number 4. Uh, okay, before we do the exercises, uh, I just want to share with you normally in your final exam or in your test, question on futures will ask about how to gain profit or loss by doing speculation in futures market. Normally, marker the range between 6 to 8 marks lah kalau in final exam. Okay, uh, and sometimes the question also ask on the theory part, the difference between futures and forward. Okay, um, the differences, okay, selalunya the differences ataupun explain the benefit or advantages or disadvantages of trading in futures, currency futures contracts. So, those are uh, questions normally asked in your final exam. Okay, let's take a look at the first example. Okay, normally question will ask on how to do speculation with currency futures contract. Let's start with a short position. Do you still remember what I told you? Short means sell. You want to sell the contract. Can you sell the contract first without buying? Yes, because we are dealing with contract. Okay, kalau contract ni dia tak ada masalah. You boleh jual dulu. Kenapa? Bila you jual, clearing house will matchkan your uh, jualan, your short position with the buying position from another buyer. Uh, you akan ada orang tengah known as clearing house. Okay, clearing house akan matchkan uh, pembelian from one other party with the uh, jualan from another party. Okay, belian dan jualan of the contract. Okay, so let's start with the short position questions. Uh, these are the, uh, this is the example. A currency trader took a short position. Maksudnya dia nak jual. How many? 3 GBP futures contract. Satu contract equals to 50,000 ringgit GBP. That will mature in 3 days time. Okay, when you are going to close out you punya pembelian, nak settlekan pembelian on day 3. Okay, the opening price today given to you, harga you op, harga you sell, okay, will be at 1.85. With the closing prices in the next three consecutive days are given as follows lah respectively. If the current margin of the trader, sekarang ni trader dah ada dalam account dia margin of how much? Uh, 10,000 USD. Show the daily mark to market settlement process and calculate the trader's profit or loss. Alright, boleh jadi juga you rugi. Depends on the price movement on the futures trading on day 3. Okay. The question that we should ponder about what is why does he enter short position alright he enter short position dia nak jual on the first day because he expect the USD will appreciate ok and the GBP will depreciate ha, below USD appreciate GBP will depreciate later so he can sell USD now before it is appreciate and buy back later and gain profit ok we can see clearly after we do this lah Alright, okay, so these are the table that you should prepare. You should prepare uh, a table with four columns. Uh, first column is the day of trading, number of days of trading. Started from day 1 until day 3. And then the column of price of USD per GBP. And then the floating profit or loss, okay, in USD. Because code kita dalam USD, bila kita darab nanti kita akan dapat USD. And also the margin uh, column. Okay, let's take a look at the, the number of days. Kenapa day ni dia ada, day one yang ada dua kali? Because this is actually the opening, the beginning of day one. This is the ending of day one. Ha, that's why ada dua kali. Kita open, okay, kita letak day one. Sometimes ada buku dia letak day zero. But still it refer to the beginning of day one. Tapi kita letak day one lah senang. Ini day one pagi, masa opening. So when you open, you sell. Okay, alright. And then the closing price of day 1, harga tutup hari pertama dia bagi 1.8. So, we letak 1.8. What happen is, what will happen is, okay, the system will mark your position on daily basis. Walaupun your intention is to close on day 3, dia cerita, cerita dia macam ni. If you open jual, kita akan close ataupun settlekan position kita dengan beli. Kalau kita jual kat sini, last sekali kita beli balik kat sini. So, clear lah position kita. Kalau kita open position dengan buy, kita akan close dengan sell. But this question is short position question. Kita open dengan jual contract. Okay. So, but on the first day, the system will mark your position. Apa maksudnya? Dia akan kira kan petang tu how much is actually our floating profit or loss. So, pagi tu, katalah kononnya pagi. Pagi kita sell pada 1.85. Petang sistem akan close kan kita 
beli pada 1.8 buka jual 1.85 petang tutup pada 1.8 beli that is your buying price so how to calculate your floating profit or loss take the selling price 1.85 minus the buying price okay 1.8 times 3 contracts times GPP 50,000 per contract okay you will gain 7,500 so as you can see, margin you dah bertambah 10,000 plus 7,500 your margin, alright, your current margin on at the end on day 1, you akan dapat 17,500. Okay, next. On day 2 pula, okay, ini day 1 punya closing price. This closing price for day 1 akan jadi the beginning price of day 2. So apa entry you setiap pagi, sistem akan... Uh, baca macam mana sistem akan read your entry as selling lah sebab entry kita sell soalannya setiap pagi open position kita akan sell so we will sell pada harga 1.8 kenapa the closing price on day 1 will become the beginning price of day 2 so again entry kita pada day 2 adalah 1.8 ok and petang tu bila dia bagi je closing price sistem akan kirakan kita punya keuntungan or kerugian for day 2 so again, kita akan minuskan 1.8. 1.8 sekarang dah jadi selling price because it is the opening price for day 2. 1.8 minus 1.88 times 3 times GPP 50,000. Okay, oh my god. On day 2, you lose. Alright, you get, you have lost by how much? 12,000. So as you can see, 17,000 setengah margin semalam, tolak rugi 12,000. Your margin now has become 5,500. Okay, alright. And then... Pada hari ketiga, again, closing price on day 2 will become the opening price for day 3. Apa posi position kita pada uh, pembukaan hari ketiga? Sell. Okay, close kita pada ending price dia 1.82. So, again, we will calculate 1.88 minus 1.82 times 3 times GPP 50,000. Pada hari ketiga, Alhamdulillah, you gain 9,000 USD. So, your cumulative uh, current margin last kali oh no not the cumulative your latest current margin last kali berapa 14,500 datang mana ni 5,500 plus 9,000 you get 14,500 so that is the settlement process table alright mark to market position table next you have to calculate the profit or loss sebab dia cakap kat sini calculate the traders profit or loss to calculate the profit or loss ada dua method you can use this column if you use this column maksudnya you will sum all the uh, profit and loss for the three days okay 7500 minus 5000 plus 9000 you will get 4500 or salah satu saja you don't have to show both all right you can use this column take the ending margin here 14500 minus the beginning margin 10000 you will end up getting 4500 and besides showing these two the table and also the profit or loss you also have to calculate the settlement of selling berapa Nilai value settle, uh, you settlekan penjualan you. The settlement of selling is simply by taking the what the ending price on day 3, 1.82 times 3 contract times GBP 50,000. Your settlement of selling is 7,000 eh, 7, pula. 273,000 USD. Okay. Let's take a look at another thing. Ini just for uh, your additional information. Okay, uh, another way to find profit or loss, kita boleh kira actually the uh, contract, the value of the contract on day 1. Okay, pada day 1, kita entry kita berapa? 1.85. Okay, kita sell kan? Uh, berapa total contract value? Kita boleh kira macam mana? Ambil je 1.85 times 3 contract times GPP 50,000. So, the value of the contract on day 1 adalah 277,500. Okay, and then you have calculated the Contract value on day 3. Macam mana you dapat contract value on day 3? Ni. Yang you kira tadi ni. Harga last. 1.82 times 3 contract times GPP 50,000. You get 173,000 USD. So, masa buka 277.5. Masa tutup, masa kita close out by buying back the contract 273. Maka kita akan dapat ending up getting profit by how much? Sama juga. 4,500. Okay. Ha, cuba tengok ni. Kenapa tadi kita enter short position? Sebab kita assume USD akan appreciate. And in this case, pada hari ketiga memang betul. USD appreciate. Daripada 1.85, ketidak 1 GBP, 
Alright, bersamaan dengan 1.85 USD. Sekarang, USD dah jadi mahal. 1 GBP equals to 182 US USD. Ha, kalau kita beli, uh, kita nak, apa, kita trade, kita boleh untung. Maksudnya, kita harga kat sini 1.85, kita sell and then 1.82 nampak lagi kecil. So, perbezaan the spread between uh, buying price and selling price tu positif. That's why kita untung 4,500. So, that would be the explanation for exercise number one. See you in uh, your next video, video number five, speculation, also, also speculation with currency futures contract, but what if we enter long position? See you in video number five.